because we were supposed to leave today for our trip, but I had this very expensive package coming and I didn't want to leave it on my, um, in my driveway. You know how that goes. Porch pirates and all. Um, and it's something I wanted to take with me. Oh dear. I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift that up. Because this box is huge. Hopefully the item isn't this big, but it's certainly heavy. So. Wow, it's big. and plugs and everything that go with it. Whew. 2,400 watts. The problem is um, I know I just had my my cuchilla. Not sure what I did with it. There it is. That thing's so big I can sit on it. It's 2,400 watts. They were supposed to send me two 100 watt solar panels. Hopefully there's two in here. There is not. There's only one. Oh, it's a one 200 watt solar panel. That's right. It's not two 100 watt solar panel. It's one solar panel that is 200 watts. Oh. So, this is All Powers. They sent this to me. And I'm taking it on my road trip if I can lift it into the van. It's really heavy, super heavy. So we will talk more about it when I get up there. Okay, so I wanted to do an update on this power station, this solar generator. I've been using it for exactly one week today and I still have 52% of my battery without charging it at all. I um, haven't needed any fans because it's on the cooler side here, but I run my lights off of it, I charge my phone and my tablet off of it, and um, so I've, and I've used my bullet blender a few times until the darn coyote stole my uh, blender cup. And so I am really impressed with this. Once it gets down lower to five or 10%, I'm going to charge it with the solar panel 
to test how long that takes and then I'm going to use it to run my refrigerator and see how long that lasts. Okay, so the battery lasted an entire week. Um, I wasn't using any fans because we haven't needed any, but um, I was using it for my, my lights and charging my phone and my tablet. The weird thing is, is that last night I checked it and it was at 40%, but this morning it had gone all the way down to zero. So I'm not sure why that happened. As it turned out, I did have my cords with me. I didn't realize I had packed them, but I found them. They were in a case that looks just like my little um, clothes pod packing things. Anyway, I just opened this um, solar panel and put it on the roof of my van. And you can probably hear it. It's The sun's just coming up, so it's not really... Um, getting the power yet, but you can hear it, it's trying to. So I will see how long it takes to charge this battery with the solar panel that they sent. So I just have it sitting, this is a 200 watt solar panel, which means each one of these sections are 50 watts, and um, it's charging the battery now. It's up to 1% now. Okay, it's been about six hours, and uh, the um, power station has charged up to about 40%. So I'm going to get it up to 100% before I plug in my refrigerator to see how long that lasts. Okay, it's been seven and a half hours, and it is charged to 50%. So... It's 2.30, so the sun, it might quit charging in a couple hours, so it probably won't get to 100% today, but that's okay. It lasted a week. I am so impressed with that. Okay, so yesterday I ran my fan all day and charged the devices and had it um, connected to the solar panel, and it never went below a hundred percent. I mean that is incredible. Today I have plugged in my refrigerator to see how that works throughout the day, um, keeping it charging all the time. I am sure that without having it plugged in it would probably run my refrigerator, I mean, without charging it, it would probably run my refrigerator for about five days, but that's just a guess. Um, so I'm just gonna run it today while it's charging at the same time and see how the battery does. Okay, something I'm gonna show. See that? It is beeping to tell me that the solar panels are no longer getting any sun and it is not bringing any more power into the power station. That's kind of cool. Um, but it's, you know, five o'clock at night or whatever time it is. And um, it is done charging for the day. I have my refrigerator plugged in to it and um, I plugged it in first thing this morning. It stayed at 100% all day until the sun started. Um, see, it just, it didn't turn itself off, but it turned the, um, the screen off. Um, so anyway, um, I'm in love with this, but we will see what it says in the morning with it powering the refrigerator all night. Good morning, YouTube. Well, I have had this uh, All Powers uh, 2000 watt power station 
for three weeks now and I'm in love with it. It's always at 100%. I keep it charging even while I'm using it. I use, use it for my fan, uh, recharging my phone, recharging my tablet, um, my epilator, the um, alter, you know, the AC, I've used the AC, I used it for my blender. I mean, and it, it's pretty wonderful. And um, remember, it has the 200, well, it doesn't come with the 200 watt solar panel, but that's all I have. I have a 200 watt solar and it is keeping this charged at 100% all the time. So anyway, click on the link below.